guys, Joe here with Doctor's Tackle. Today we want to talk about one of the most frequently occurring problems known as high staking. This video is going to be about high staking 101. You'll hear about it all the time and it goes back and forth and people think it may be a myth. This is not a myth. This is actually something that happens. People wonder, why did my tip of my rod just break? I have no clue how it just broke. We're going to show you why it just broke and maybe this will explain and you'll understand how this happens. So over here we got a five gallon bucket, that's a Moonlighter cast net right there. That's a 22 pound cast net. So we're gonna show you, that's gonna represent our fish. We're gonna show you what happened. So if a fish is out real far, we can put this rod on our hip and we can pull back on it, okay? So as I'm pulling back, you can see the load of this rod is bending all throughout this rod. We're getting a full load from here all the way to the top, okay? And this is me pulling straight up so I can come up Pull. I'm pulling this fish towards me. This fish is coming closer. So now we've moved forward a few feet. And you can see where the bend of this rod is. The bend of this rod is coming up and going straight. We're not in any sort of problem right now whatsoever. We're doing the right thing here. So as I reel down, I apply more pressure. I can pull back up again. But now I've came down. I haven't pulled back as far. Maybe four inches I haven't pulled back because what I'm trying to do is keep the angle to where I'm constantly applying the same amount of pressure to the back of this rod. So I'm gonna keep pulling this fish closer to me and I'm gonna slowly, progressively go down. So here we are, now we're gonna work our way down. This fish is getting closer now. Now what will happen is if you see, as this fish gets closer, if I continue to lift this fish all the way up, you can see we're creeping the back one of the rod is no longer bending, we're starting to bend here. So now as this fish gets even closer to the boat, we're getting here, look where the rod's bending. Everybody gets to this point, whether we're on a boat, whether we're on a pier, or we're on land, we all get excited because we want to land this fish. You have to change your angle. You can't have your rod pointed at the sky and the fish this close to you. Because what happens, you can start to see, we're not bending here anymore, we're bending right there, okay? So now, as we get closer, let's get a little bit closer here. <laughs> as we get closer, look what's gonna happen. We are transitioning the backbone of this rod from here to the top. We are inverting the top of the rod. This is our Dogfish Stick Signature Series. We have spent a lot of time, money, and effort going into this rod to make it to where it's less acceptable to be in high school. But, nonetheless, it can still happen when you're doing things like this. Now you watch, I get close to this, you can see where this rod should be bending. Back here on the back of the rod, the top is staying completely straight, it's almost blending in with a line. We're putting so much of a load onto this. My tip is literally touching that bucket handle. But if I back off of it a little bit, here, let's back off a little bit, and I'll show you real quick. What'll happen, if we get close to it like this, you're gonna break it. A lot of rods on the market, this would be already broken by now. This should never, ever, ever happen. So let me explain to you how this happens. Because people say, well, I wasn't doing that. I wasn't actually fishing when it happened. If you have loose line and you're hooking it to your hook keeper down here, but it's tight and you pull it in, boom, tip just got broken. And I can show you that. We take the line, let's pretend our hook is here. That's how it happens. Hook's here, I pull it down, go to hook it on. Well, look what my rod's doing. Look what the rod's doing at this point. That's how we break a rod tip right there. We're on the pier, looking down at our fish. We gotta get them up. Well, you gotta reel down, turn it sideways, lift up, let them come down, and let them fall. And that's where you're going like this, springing forward, letting that fish fall. I'm not gonna point my rod tip up in the sky and reel up to catch the fish, because this is what's gonna happen. When that fish gets close to you, just like a clock, you get higher than a nine o'clock position you are inverting the rod tip and you are going to end up breaking the rod tip. It might not happen the first couple times. You might have this rod for a few years. You let your cousin Bernie come over here and use the rod and he's out there red fishing and oh man, get him, I need to get this fish. Get him, hurry up, get him. Look what's happening. We're breaking the tip. So what we're trying to do is be educational here. We're not trying to poke fun and point fingers, but we do want to let people know this is how rod tips get broken. When it's broke, in the top two foot of the rod, 99.9% .9 of the time, that's exactly why. Unless you shut in your car door, garage door, you rode over it with your friend's bicycle, something happened other than it getting broken the correct way on a fish. If I implode this rod, I assure you, 
If I'm bending it the right way, we're breaking back here in the back going of that rock. Hope that helps you.